Okay, fellas, Nick here. Okay, pro tip, people hate it when you call Roblox a Lego game. I may have angered a few, um, 100,000 people, but trust me on this one, I am f***ed. Listen, if I need to redeem myself, I've gotta talk something. Either I can talk about Roblox again, or I can talk about Lego. Lego Batman. Okay, so, um, Lego, right? The world's favorite choking hazard, and apparently a phenomenon in the video game industry. Before TT Games existed, the games were all over the place for Lego. Racing, pizza, burglars, mining, the works. Then Traveler's Tale stopped making licensed games and Sonic R to work with Lucasfilm to bring us Lego Star Wars and Lego Indiana Jones. But in 2007, Warner Brothers bought up TT Games and the next year brought us the last of the Lego classic trio. Lego Batman. Unlike the Lucasfilm games, this one was based on an original story featuring a not so original premise. Bat boys break out of the break out of prison and go stop them. The hero side you get three episodes. The villain side you get three episodes. The villain side is mostly about how these things came to be, you know. Why the Riddler is breaking into a jewelry store with a tub of Play Doh. Clayface, Mr. Freeze, Two Face, Poison Ivy beat Riddler up. Catwoman, Penguin Submarine, Killer Croc, Man Bat beat Penguin up. Mad Hatter, Harley Quinn, Scarecrow, Killer Moth beat Joker up. Here's the credits, good job. At every level, Batman and Robin start out with their battering and a grappling mechanic where you can go up. On top of that, there's also Batgirl and Nightwing, and the sentence is already over. Batgirl and Batman also share four special suits. Robin and Nightwing share four special suits, so that the little sibling can, you know, do something. Starting with Batman, the glide suit lets Batman glide in the air. Mostly to go over gaps to build something for Robin to get over. The Sonic suit lets you break blue tinted glass and windows to open a path or some lever compartment, I don't know. Demolition suit lets you make shiny silver objects go burp 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 boom. And the heat protection suit lets you touch or build with these red hot Lego parts. And then there's Robin suits. The Magnum suit, I hate you. The suit is in nearly every level and it made this section happen in the Mr. Freeze level. Also, it makes loud footstep noises, you can't mute them. Oh yeah, it's purpose. The magnet suit lets you climb sideways or upside down on these shiny silver bits. Less shiny and silver than the destruction suit's shiny silver parts, but still shiny and silver nonetheless. The water suit turns you into crocodile. You sink to the bottom. The tech suit, so if this thing Robin can use tech panels, that'll control things like a robot turtle, oh f yeah. And finally, the attract suit. This is in every level too, I swear. It gives Robin a vacuum to collect these Robin-colored Lego pieces to fill these 25-piece bins, so you can build a mini kit or a toxic suck boy. Overall, all these suits sprout the gameplay at least a little bit, so that there's something unique going on in every level. You know, something, something to look forward to when you're playing the hero levels. Like, oh, thank God, I don't have to use the battering and the grappling hook only. Now I can touch red hot Lego bricks. But then there's the water suit. All my homies hate the water suit. Look, here's a picture of the homies. You can also play as the villains in their stories. Though instead of suits. All 15 have a unique set of abilities. Some characters have exclusive abilities, but not many things overlap between one another. They at least have some differentiation. Clayface has a double jump and super strength that lets you pull on these orange handles to hold stuff. Mr. Freeze can use his freeze ray to freeze things or sparkly spots in like one level. He has toxic immunity so you don't die in green Triggers. and super strength, which are both likely in his suit. He also gets freeze immunity, so the deadly freezy stuff doesn't hurt you. Dual face has double guns, so bonus style points. He also has toxic immunity, and he literally backwards swims in it. Poison Ivy has toxic immunity, the female exclusive pheromone powers where you can seduce those f***ing simps into opening doors for you. She also has telekinesis buffered plants, which she can make grow. That's her only exclusive power. The Riddler f***ing sucks in this game, okay? All he has are these riddle panels where you can mind control these guys into opening the door for you. I mean, Scarecrow would do this too if it's mind control anyway, so what's the point? The stick! Catwoman has simp powers. But she also has big jumpies. Bane has super strength and toxic immunity. Uh, that's it. Killer Croc is Bane's abilities, but... 
he put on the Robin Wetsu. The penguin can glide and deploy little penguin boom boys that waddle around before exploding if they don't run into anything in time. Mad Hatter can wield the American Dream over here as well as flying out of his little propeller. Aw, oh, how cute. Uh, you know, Harley Quinn doesn't have much. I mean, she has seduction, but it's- this is like Jester outfit. This isn't Harley Quinn. This is Jester. Harley Quinn. Like, you get seduced by a clown, at this point, you are the clown yourself. Scarecrow has mind control, but he also has the exclusive FUNDER <gasps> GAS! I don't think those guys inked it through. This guy should've just stuck to doing Sonic R. Two. Three. Wrath of Cortex. And lastly, the Joker can buzz these Joker machines to turn on special stuff alongside wielding guns and being immune to toxins. Once again, good on them for creating something actually fun. The weird thing is, I just got bored playing the villain stories. It was- it's not as fun. With the hero things, it's one character that has multiple powers, but it can be multiple suits in a level. Here, you're only restricted to two characters, and most of them probably even have double jump or toxic immunity, so. There's also a bunch of land vehicles, see vehicles and aircraft but they're worth nothing the gameplay is pretty simple actually you run around you beat shit up and then you face the villain at the end of the level there are goons that like to change shirts from purple to blue to green one thing i also love are the cutscenes. like you're actually meant to do motion capture at one point but doing one test with lego star wars found it a bit incomparable i mean jesus look at their necks but also i hate the cutscenes. this is the only way we see robin's tongue it happens f***ing twice. It was too much to show it to begin with, okay? Also, I used cheat codes to get the stud multiplier extras early, so I have 3480 score. But, um, here's all the codes. As for the controls, well, when you aren't going f***ing nuts on the square button, each combo move actually has flow, like you feel like you did that. You know, like, like you, like it's realistic. And, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on LEGO Batman. Be careful, I have this thing called nostalgia bias. I did replay it now just so that I could get some moods back and um yeah you gave me a good game so looks like you live today. You know, I think I finally get it now. I think I understand what I was meant to do, what I was meant to make. Talk about, talk about stupid PS4 games. I think I get it now. Okay, let's make another LEGO game. Wait, there's more? <laughs>